This walkthrough will show you how to configure and use the TFVC support in Visual Studio Code. I'll be showing this demo on Windows using the TF.exe provided by Visual Studio, but if you're running on Mac OS or Linux, you can use the Team Explorer Everywhere command line client, um, the TEE CLC, and we have another video out on YouTube called Set Up and Configure the TEE CLC on Linux, but I'll show you how to set up the TFVC support using the CLC uh, on those operating systems. One thing I want to explain before we go forward is that the same functionality that I'm going to show here on Windows will work the exact same way as it does as it will on Mac OS and Linux using the TEE CLC. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start Visual Studio Code. And sure that I've got the extension already s installed here. It's version 116. In order to set up the TFVC support, we need to add one setting in the VS Code settings here and it's called tfvc.location. Now what you need to specify here is the full path to the TF executable or the script that you're going to use for the TFVC functionality. So the TFVC support in the extension utilizes the tf.exe uh, that is installed with Visual Studio and you can see the long path here to tf.exe here. And it also will use uh, in Mac OS and Linux uh, the version of TF, the TFCMD. Okay, so I've got that set up. I'm going to go ahead and open a TFVC repository that I have here on my Team Foundation server. And once I do that, you'll see I get this message that I'm not yet connected to that and I need to run the sign in command. So I can either run the sign in command by typing in F1 and um, typing in Team Sign In, or I can come down here to the status bar, click on that. So I go ahead and enter my credentials. And once I do that, we go and connect to the Team Foundation server. And you can see that the extension is being initialized here. So I've got uh, the name of my team project, which is Deep Space. You can see I've got it, don't have a build yet for this repository. And then I have one work item that's assigned to me. So if I were to click that, we'll go out to the, the server and, and show you the work items that are assigned to you. Okay, but let's look at the viewlet instead. So we click over the TFVC viewlet, and what you can see here is that it's indicating that the source code control system is TFVC. Here's the dialog box where you can go ahead and, and add your commit uh, check-in message when it's that time when you want to check in your changes. And there are three groups down here. One is conflicting changes, which shows my conflicting change. I've got uh, apparently a conflicting changes in my flying stars controller.js file. I have two other files that I'm in including in these changes. Um, these two files here. And I have another file that I'm adding a new file here, index.1.html, that I currently have excluded. The other functionality of the, the viewlet here is this check mark, which gives me the ability to check in my changes. The rounded arrow allows me to refresh, so I can basically do a, stat, a status call. And then under this menu here, there are a few more commands that I can run here. I can do sync, I can associate work items to this particular check in, I can run the check in command from here, I can undo all changes. I can show the TFVC output window, which is displayed down there at the bottom. Um, and VS Code also provides this switch SCM provider. This is currently a TFVC repository, so there's no need to change any of that. Okay, so the TFVC output window, really briefly here down, you can see down here, it shows all the TF commands that are being run. It's indicating that I'm using TF.exe. Here's the version of that. And then you can see that we're running, we've run a TF status and a TF resolve. And here's the results of a TF resolve that I actually run, which allows us to know that we've got a conflicting change. Okay, so if I select on the Flying Stars controller, this will open a diff. This will open a diff of that file so I can go ahead and I can see my change. So there's the change that was made. I went ahead and changed it to two, and that's what's conflicting. And I can also go ahead and, and click on the other changes for the, these other files. So just by selecting these, I can go ahead and see the difference. So the underlying tf.exe is going to the server, getting the contents of the remote file, and then bringing them down here to VS Code. And so we can actually do the diff. Now in each of the items here, you can see there's other menu items that are attached to it as well. So I can go ahead and undo these changes by clicking this, or for example, I can go ahead and exclude this particular change. So I click that, and we go ahead and move this down to the excluded changes. I go ahead and move that back. 
and you can see how I do that as I do that the number of uh, items that are in each of those groups gets updated accordingly and some of these I can also right click so I right clicked on image.java I can go ahead and do this and and show I can right click and open the diff so you can see that there's the diff there or I can open a particular file so I can just get right quickly to the file and again I can also exclude the changes or I'll go ahead and undo those changes as well so back on flyingstarscontroller.js I'm going to go ahead and hover over these guys I can say I can take theirs or I can go ahead and keep mine I like my change so I'm going to go ahead and keep mine and we're just going to make sure that you actually want to do that so go ahead and I'll say keep yours and then we'll make that change and you can see that that's now been resolved I can see that in the CFVC output window so let's go ahead and there's keep yours we went and resolved this keep yours and that's down here in the included changes now another thing I can do since I've seen that I've had a work item that's associated um, that's assigned to me is I can go ahead and I can say I want to associate work items if I choose that work item we're going to go ahead and add an additional comment to the check-in message which I can update so I'm going to say checking in my changes and just by using the the pound work item number that is going to go ahead and associate those changes but we also put the, the text of the, the title of the work item in there as well so I'm going to do and go ahead and do a check-in So you can see change set 412 was checked in down here in the status window and I still got my excluded changes which was this new file that was added. The other thing you'll notice too is that we only show the conflicting changes group when there are actually conflicting changes. Since there are no longer any conflicting changes that group um, went away. So the other thing I want to show too is the ability to rename a file. So in TFVC there is a TFVC rename, rename command. So if I were to just come in here at this readme.md and use VS Code's rename command, what TFV, TFVC will see that is, is a delete and an add. And as a result, you, you'll lose kind of the history of the file. So we've created this rename TFVC command, which allows you to go in here and will prompt you for the file name. And you go ahead and you say, change that to readme2. We'll go ahead and run the TFVC rename command and you'll see that it appears in, as the included change here. It's also noted, noted with the R, so we can say that it's renamed. So I can say, rename this file. Go ahead and check that in. So you can see we can also rename files there as well. So just to reiterate, um, I want to make sure that, uh, that to let everybody know that the functionality that we're showing here on Windows will be the same functionality that you get on Mac OS and Linux using the TEE CLC. So we'd love for you to install the, ins the extension, try out the TFEC support and provide us some feedback. You can either do that through the send feedback command, you can use the send feedback command, or you can start a discussion in our GitHub repository. And that's the walkthrough of configuring and using the TFEC support in Visual Studio Code.